Last week's show I had a massive migraine. I've been having these migraines again, even though the best um, to the doctor's best ability, he's been giving me medication to prevent it, and uh, I haven't been doing any good preventing it. So it's either the migraines are messing me up or the medicine's messing me up today. The medicine is messing me up, but I'm here soldiering on bravely, despite all that shit. So, uh, here I am. And uh, let's start out with uh, Ryan Adams. Head on down to Nest Creek Air. Let's go out of kicking with the boys and the gals Wear your dress and bring my ring Someone's gonna get it, ain't gonna be me Lucy, Lucy, my gal Got it in the chest, I think. Lucy, Lucy, I got Lucy, Lucy, my sweet. Lucy, Lucy, my gal. I was just gonna hit him, but I'm gonna kill him now.
Okay. That was F Faster Pussycat with a song called Little Dove. And before that, we heard, um, we heard Ryan Adams with, um, let me get my glasses straight here. Can you see? Uh, Shake Down on Ninth Street. Ah, don't we love Ninth Street down here in uh, Harrisburg? Yes, sir, we do. Uh, wait a minute. I think I made a mistake. Uh, well, I'll be bringing you uh, uh, something here in a minute. Ha! What was that? What was that I heard? Ha! Well, uh, if you think you can do a better job, come on up here and do it. Oh, shit. It's here. That's another uh, damn punch heard from. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ha! Well. 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 I thought I had a little cold this morning, but, uh, that thing was quite that bad. Anyways, uh, bell went off. It's time for us to announce that. Um, I always forget to say that uh, our theme song for the show is a song by Teen Slut. Uh, let's get it on. We always like to thank Teen Slut for providing a song for us this morning, for our this afternoon, for our show. We're making it into a whole 12 minutes right now. Shh. We don't want to mess anything up. Um, let's see. Let's get back into things. This is one of my favorite songs. Um, I've got a 45 of this song uh, on, uh, let's see. It's the original pressing. I don't know what the label is. I'd have to look it up. I uh, can't do it right here from here right now. Uh, God, I can't think. Oh, Tetra, Tetra Gaman label out of England a long time ago. Uh, this is the status quo. Pictures of matchsticks, men.
like a dead man from a white oak tree. People sitting on porches thinking how things used to be. Dark night. It's a dark night. soon we forget I turn away um we heard um pictures of matchstick men by status quo then we heard uh, the leftovers gave us torque or torque gave us leftovers i'm not sure how it went exactly and then the blasters gave us dark night and uh i think those last two songs came from um the just before dawn soundtrack, which is a, which was an excellent movie, uh, starring George Clooney and uh, a whole bunch of other people, Quentin Tarantino, and um, hell, I can't think, uh, Cheech Marin and a whole bunch of cool people. If you haven't seen uh, from Dust Till Dawn, and you like horror movies, and you just like fucking cool movies, you need to see that because it's it's just wonderful. Uh, so, uh, that got me thinking, I don't know why it got me thinking about this, I read, I was sitting in, um, well, someplace yesterday, oh, uh, New Moon yesterday having, um, lunch, and I picked up Rolling Stone magazine, and, uh, 
Rolling Stone magazine really has any, nothing to uh, interest me these days. Uh, but it had a great article, an in, in, interview with uh, Nick Lowe. And if you don't know who Nick Lowe is, uh, you're either too young or too stupid to know what music is, and you need you need to go back to school. Uh, so anyway, uh, I have seen Nick Lowe in a concert before uh, with Elvis Costello and um, Squeeze. I think I think that's who it was. Um, my me my memory's getting bad, uh, but anyway, Nick Lowe was talking about when he was in a band called uh, Brindley Schwartz back in the uh, 70s, late 70s. Uh, they were part of something called um, Pub Rock, the Pub Rock um, Explosion, which was uh, right before the punk New Wave Explosion in the 80s. Uh, pub Rock did not last very long. It gave us bands like... Um, the Count Bishops and um, Rock Pile, well, yeah, maybe, maybe Rock Pile, and Dave Edmonds and Nick Lowe was uh, sort of part of that, but he's more part of. Um, he was survived over to punk and new wave, and uh, anyway, he was talking about being on, you know, working with Brindley, Brindley, Brindley Schwartz. And they didn't do very well in America. For, of course, they didn't do well in America at all. And they were more um, having a, having a, having an American kind of style. Uh, they had five albums out in Britain, and they didn't do they did better in Britain, but they didn't do, didn't do that great over there either. So they shut shut it, shut it down. The showdown, and this is before 1980. Uh, Seventy. This must have been 78 or so. 79, and he went on the road with, uh, I forget what band it was now, um, he was their roadie, I forgot the name of the band, it escapes me, but anyway, he was playing, they were playing in California, I think, and he ran into a guy named Huey Lewis, who at the time was playing in a band called Clover, and he was uh, Hue, Huey Lewis. There was there was no Huey Lewis had not gotten the news yet. So that was way before that. So uh, Huey was in a band called Clover. So Nick Lowe uh, knew this guy over in Britain named uh, Elvis Costello, who needed a backup band on his first album. So. He hired Clover, or he got Clover in touch with Elvis. And if you know anything about Elvis's first album, uh, My Aim is True, the backing band on My Aim is True is Clover. And Lu Huey Lewis is playing and maybe singing backup. I don't remember. I don't have the album in front of me. But he's, that band Clover is backing Elvis Costello up. And aren't you glad you asked that today? Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone appreciates my knowledge. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get into some... Um,
was uh, Soul on Silver Lining, the new Bond Turks. Before that, we heard from, let me find it down here. We heard from uh, No Special Order. We heard, uh, first we heard from the wrong sister one by one. And the next song after that was Wimps, Insomnia. I hope you don't have insomnia, because insomnia sucks. It can be deadly. It really can. Uh, let's see. I do want to run. Uh, we have, you know, on this show, uh, since we don't have any public, public funding, we have we do have to run. We do like to run public service announcements once in a great while uh, for free. So I do want to remind you, um, since we live in the land of plenty, and we do still live in the land of plenty, even though um, you know we are. Or, or, uh, yeah, 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 that's the medicine for the uh, migraines uh, rolling in here. It, it's just uh, made, made a mess out of me. Anyway, um, what we have here, uh, even though we don't act like we live in the land of plenty and we don't act like we're grateful and we never act like we're thankful for anything in this country, um, we're out, we're, we really act like we're a bunch of selfish pigs most of every day, except Thanksgiving, you know. Kind of that. We kind of like to trot that bullshit out every, you know, uh, November. But uh, I always do like to um, remind people: you should be thankful. It should be Thanksgiving about every day. And here's what here's what you should do: set a place, set your table for a zombie, fill a plate for your rotting fellow man. It's really tough to be undead, help them celebrate instead. At the holidays, it's good to lend a hand. It's a season full of joy and celebration. But for those who struggle with reanimation, it's not toys and dolls and trains, just the endless search for brains. There's nothing fun about zombification. So set a place, set your table for a zombie. Fill a plate for your rotting fellow man. It's really tough to be undead. Help them celebrate instead. At the holidays, it's good to lend a hand. You don't have to buy your zombie friend a present. But if you don't feed him something, he'll resent it. As long as what you serve is fresh, it doesn't have to be human flesh. Try a turkey or a brisket or some pheasant. And set a place at your table for a zombie Fill a plate for your rotting fellow man It's really tough to be undead Help them celebrate instead At the holidays it's good to lend a hand Sing along zombies Very good, very good Fill a plate for your rotting fellow man it's really tough to be undead, help them celebrate instead. At the holidays, it's good to lend a
about does it for us today on the uh, Voice of Harrisburg. I have been your host, um, Billy Packwood. You have been tuned in for almost an hour of pulpertude and despair. I can't believe we almost made it. We just about there to the end, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Because, uh, you know how these things are. They get real... Uh, iffy this time of day so let's go ahead and get the heck out of dodge while we can and let's find our little exit our exit sign let's find our exit sign and hit the road as soon as i can find the exit sign i'm out of here so uh i will be seeing you next week hopefully on time this was more or less on time so here we go. Uh, the uh, loyalty freak music is going to take us out of here with Ghost Surf Rock. Mm-hmm.